Hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Lonely. My name is AJ, and as you can see from my screen, I have completely sorted out my Roxio. Uh, it's now recording in properly, proper, properly HD, proper HD, and uh, it looks great now. Uh, I'm really impressed with the outcome. It's uh, really crisp, and uh, yeah, around all these blocks at the bottom here, it's all square. It was quite blurry before. Uh, so that'll be sorted. And some good news as well is that I have a new microphone on the way. So this will probably be, there'll probably be one or two episodes that I'm recording now uh, that won't have my new mic, but will have the new visual look, the the, the better visual look. Uh, and then after that, there might be a few of um, what they call the Great Pyramid episodes uh, with bad quality if you like and bad audio but then after that everything will be top notch hopefully the mic will sound great and the video will go well with it and uh, yeah so about in a week's time from now we should have really crisp audio as well as nice crisp visuals so on to today's lesson is the XOR gate or the exclusive OR gate and um on Xbox we have to do it slightly different to on PC because on PC the most um, used one uses upside down half slabs and obviously we don't have them yet so we have to use a different layout but this layout is actually better because it's a lot easier to understand and it's a lot easier to demonstrate so basically what an XOR gate is is like a T flip flop uses um, like a yeah, like a T flip flop uses buttons, this uses levers. So we can raise the piston at the end, and then we can use another lever to drop it back down. And no matter what uh, order we do these levers in, the outcome is still going to be changed. So if you remember before from some lessons, if we hook up and get a piston, da -dum 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 -dum, like that. Now one lever would work, and the other one wouldn't, but if we have one lever on, and then try and use the other one, it doesn't do anything. But now, with this, we can. And uh, this is set up by, let me take this away, it's some confusion. Uh, by using the know-how of other logic gates, uh, and put into uh, a new logic gate. So we know that the whole block powering the torch thing and then we know about the inverters. And basically what it does is, if we've got this torch on here, so now this side is off, powering this one now on. So the output is up. And if we turn them both off, it's down because there's nothing coming to the end here. We turn this one on, we've got power coming out because this redstone torch is lit. But then if we power both, because they're both now lit, the uh, both redstone uh, have got power going to them, both redstone torches are off, therefore there's no output. That's ever so hard to explain, but it's easier to show. Um, sorry if I didn't explain that too well. But that, that's the idea of it. We using two redstone torches and if one is on then it'll be up if they're both on it'll be up and if they're both off it'll be down so uh, we've put it into the same example as we did with the T flip flop and the buttons if you imagined all this was underground but we've now got two levers set up in here so we can flick the lever the door will open we go inside our house we can then close the door with the lever and then we can find another way out and we can still access our house again as many times as we want or we can get out from this side and it still works so no matter what we do with these levers it's always going to work so we're going to build one very quickly though it's fairly simple to copy this but we've got our two inputs and then these power the blocks, which we know already can uh, switch these torches, block in the middle and join them up, 
lock on the back and extend it. Two torch or three torches on each end. And when you're first setting it up, as long if these switches are off, these four stone uh, redstone torches should be on, and this one should be off because obviously the torches are powering the redstone, and then is inverting this torch. Extend the redstone cable down, and it'll connect up to that torch. Run the redstone over these to the other torches and then link them up and link them to whatever output you want so we'll do a door this time so now we can flick this one door opens that one door closes door opens door closes door opens door closes you, you get the point so um, I'm gonna see if I can explain it a little bit better if the switches are off both torches are off so there's no output if one switch is on, we then have the default position on this torch because it's inverted um, twice to make itself go back to on, so we have an output. And then if we have both torches on, because both torches uh, have power going to them, both torches go off, so it's reset, same as if we've got them both off. It's the same principle, so a little bit more complicated to um, explain, uh, a little bit harder to build than the T flip flop. The T flip flop is very easy to remember, this is a little bit more difficult to remember, um, but it does give you the option to use levers uh, if you want to, um, and we shall use an XOR gate in our next episode which is going to be a hidden piston door so check out uh, for that look out for that and remember to like subscribe and comment and uh, even share it why not share it with someone and uh, we shall see you in the next episode guys bye